Good morning, guys, and welcome to Custom Sling Company. I'm David Westerman, the owner of Custom Sling, and I'm probably going to be really goofy in this, but it is what it is. I just want to show you around a little bit. Some people want to know what we have in the building, you know, what we do and stuff like that. Sometimes it's hard to explain, so here we go. What we have here is a 1,200-ton Esco press. Weighs 22,000 pounds. They put a steel plate on the floor because we didn't want that concrete to crack. But uh, you see, it's a it's a beast. You don't want to get your hand stuck in it, that's for sure. And then if we go over here, things need to be cleaned up a little bit. It's a little messy, but uh, you know we've got uh, a Miller uh, TIG uh, welder, water cooled. Um, 400 amp. We do a little bit of fab work. Uh, you look right there. There's another 500 ton press. It'll do up to an inch and a half slings. And uh, I forgot to mention the uh, 1200 ton press. Uh, it'll do up to two and a half inch slings, uh, which we're very capable of doing. And over here, well, let me get this on. We have our test equipment. We, we graph out our test when we do it, and this is one of the machines right here. And if we go in here, uh, you can see our test bed and, and everything. It's a little dark in here. Uh, turn this light on and see it a little bit better. There we go. But you can see, and we also use the backside up for storage because we got equipment that takes up everything. Uh, right here is a uh, gripper. Uh, doesn't matter how long it is, we can still test the end fittings. Uh, you just put that in the bed and it's got little little jaws up in there that grip the wire. Of course, we got all kinds of wire. and We got a milling machine and courtesy of John Bowers. Uh, he kind of put that on loan to me as long as I need it. Well, guys, I got one correction to make. My father-in-law, John, pointed at me that I said that was a milling machine. No, it's not. It's a lathe. I told you it'd be goofy. I didn't even notice I'd done it. So I'm going to correct that part of the video, and I knew better. I just got crossed up in my mind. My words got tangled up. It is what it is. So, thumbs up. We're going to make it. And another machine here that needs to be cleaned up. Uh, it's a turret milling machine. We got band saws and whatnot. And uh, right here is a uh, a reeling machine. Uh, we bought that new. I don't know, five six years ago. Uh, other one started giving us a little trouble. And there's a coiling head where we can coil the wire rope. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, we, uh, we do all kinds of stuff around here. Uh, there's some slings here that uh, come in to need to be checked out and repaired. Uh, all up under here is chain slings. Uh, here's our uh, measuring clock that we run the wire through to see how... Uh, Long it is, it's fairly accurate too. It better be accurate anyway. Uh, but uh, people pay a lot of money for wire this day and time. You don't want to be shorted. Uh, we got all the chain. We got alloy chains and just drums and drums of chain. Uh, come up all over in here. Uh, we got coils of wire and hooks and that ladder is in the way but uh, we gotta have it you gotta get up there to it um, you know, we go on down through there and uh, got this little gantry crane there you can pick up reels small reels and stack them and, uh, back up a little bit here where you can get a, a wire in the frame there. Uh, yeah. Oh, and we have uh, 
lots of uh, hardware all up in here around the other side over here and show you um, here's her dies or presses um, here's some things that we do this, these orders here are ready for customers to pick up um, here's a lot more stock Here's where other finished products go. Um, that's our uh, UPS packing station there. We'll walk over here into the nylon department. We call it nylon department. It's really a sling sewing department. We don't really use nylon anymore, but that's what we used to use, and we use polyester now. Don't stretch as much, and it handles other chemicals a little better. But uh, these old Singer uh, seven class sewing machines, uh, we keep all of our bulk boxes under there, and over there, and up there. We keep it everywhere. Some more stuff. Another seven class. And we got a little uh, computer uh, workstation over here uh, for printing tags. We do our own tags. Uh, we use USA webbing, USA tags. And of course, y'all know I like my music, so I got a speaker. I got speakers and TVs everywhere you go. There's another one right there. I'm just a TV fanatic. Um, Here's our, our uh, round sling machine. Um, it's, uh, got our, uh, calculates the uh, wraps and runs the machine. Uh, these things wrap around these uh, rollers here and, and, and these bobbins pull through the material. There's you know, tensioners underneath and there's power units and all kinds of stuff. Uh, here is the hydraulic unit that runs the hydraulics. Uh, don't seem like much goes into slings and stuff, but uh, there is a lot that goes into it. And this, we can do 40 foot slings on this bed up to 90,000 pound uh, capacity. Uh, five times that's breaking on these slings. Uh, here's another seven class sewing machine. We use this for sewing the round slings up when we get done. Um, so uh, it does, does a good job. And we got parts, bands, latch kits. Most of these bands are full of latch kits. I've never seen the like of latch kits this day and time. Everybody's is different. Uh, here's some our forklift here, you know. And we got a bunch of slings stacked up on the shelf. There's some more chain slings that come in for repair. These are five H chain slings here. And these right here are three quarter die lifting slings. Uh, customers in a rush for uh, you don't know he's gonna have to get new blocks because uh, they're wore out so that's gonna be a challenge um, uh, load binders there's some more chain slings this is a three-quarter chain sling that needs to be repaired some six inch slings that need to be scrapped out and we're remaking them so uh, shackles we we got uh, pretty big shackles. These are uh, two and a half inch shackles, and uh, we go all the way down. Um, we got so many brands in here right now because no one manufacturer can keep up with the demand. There's more tubing, and uh, the bobbins are right up under there for the round sling machine, and. 
we uh, sell um, right up here. This is uh, wire rope lubricant. No, we sell that for the cranes and some big hooks up under there. There's a, a, a drum, a five gallon barrel, not a drum, five gallon barrel of a bucket, should I say, of wire rope lubricant. And more hooks. And we got stuff stored up there. And we got more stock up there. And it just keeps going. Uh, here's some slings that are being worked on. We splice these eyes into them. And uh, do about whatever we need to do. So, but, uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy what you see. Uh, I really enjoy it. Done it since I was uh, 10 years old, and uh, I'm 53 now, so I've been doing it a long time. My dad started uh, on his own company in 1971, sold it in 91. I stayed on with him, couldn't he sold till 98. And, we was in Atlanta, had uh, had several locations in Crosby Distribution Warehouse and uh, um, had the CM Distribution Warehouse. And, uh, and he asked me one day, did I want to open my own business up? And I said, yeah, I'll do it. Because uh, I knew about everything there was to know about it. You know, I enjoy it. Ain't nothing else I'd rather do. Um, in fact, I don't know if I could do anything else. Riggins, all I know. <laughs> so, yeah, I can. Yeah, I can say I got lucky. And thanks to my dad, he helped me out and, and got me going in this. It's a, a place. Hopefully, maybe my son can work at. Uh, you know, he uh, has Down syndrome and he's high functioning. And uh, I always said, as long as I own my own business, my boy will always have a job. But you know what? The way he's going, he probably won't even need me. he get his own job, which I'm glad. So, uh, well, anyway, let me flip around here. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope I didn't ramble on too much. I'm not a videographer, that's for sure. But, hey, the only way you learn is by doing, right? So, uh, anyway, have a good day, folks. I'm out of here.